It's not clickbait. I really am ending the vlog. I was a YouTuber before I was a vlogger, and I was a filmmaker before I was a YouTuber. I'm not gonna give any of that up. This experiment, it's over. sitting at home cutting the next vlog it's it's actually quite weird coincidence that as I've started my journey um, he's sort of bringing his one to an end I don't think we've seen the last of him as he says he's gonna carry on making stuff and uh, uploading stuff on um, YouTube so a good friend of mine that um, I was talking to yesterday who's been very supportive about me doing these vlogs said we're becoming like the Casey Neistat of London my intention um, for these vlogs was never was never to be like Casey or to copy anybody. I've been thinking about doing my vlog for, well, I should say, overthinking for well over a year now. This is kind of embarrassing to admit, but I've only become aware of Casey and his vlogs in the in the last uh, six to eight weeks. You see, I didn't know about Casey Neistat. I didn't know about I Justine. I didn't know anything about any of these famous vloggers Roman Atwoods and you know over on this side of the pond you know people like uh, Ben Brown and Fun for Louie um, and those guys I was genuinely a very casual youtuber I've had my youtube account since 2011 it started because in 2011 I came out of this very long relationship and that coincided with me starting a new contract a new job and naturally you know you meet loads of new people um, that period that first six months to a year I was socially more active than I had been in the previous sort of three four years while I was in that relationship going out and doing a lot of stuff you end up shooting a lot of pictures what well, the standard thing that a lot of people were doing at that time were you know whenever they went on holidays or they went on nights out people were putting albums on Facebook and sticking like 50 100 photos and which were which was great um, but to me it was a little bit dare I say boring uh, I just felt that there was a more fun way of being able to share that particular experience or that particular party or holiday and the first ideas that I had were to combine uh, photos and videos um, and make them like music videos so you know what it's like um, you go on holiday or you have a night out with friends and sometimes certain songs or certain music or certain tune it becomes your holiday tune it becomes your party tune you can't help but have a sentimental attachment to that particular song if you then cut your photos and your videos to that song you get something that's a little bit more special and a little bit more interesting so it becomes almost like a live photo album so that's how I actually started doing my videos back in 2011 and what I found was the more I did that those kind of videos I, I just loved it. this passion that I'd forgotten that I had which was for creating things that it gave other people entertainment or joy or, or something as far back as I can remember I used to love making model kits um, of spaceships and airplanes and I used to build them to actually play with them so my friends would come around and we'd use all of those things play out games and this little five six seven year old auction would be directing and telling everyone what to do and who to be and what characters they were going to be and you know what their roles were. So, I mean, my real passion is storytelling. The concepts that I have in my mind. But doing those videos reignited that creative 
monster that had been kind of laying asleep. But the problem is, last 16 to 16, 17 years, I've been in finance. Um, I've, I don't know anybody in the TV industry, I don't know anybody in the movie industry, in the kind of creative world that I would love to get into. I'm extremely you know, driven and focused and I know that's what I want to do. But when you don't know anybody, um, no matter how many emails you send them and how many phone calls you make, it's very difficult to kind of break into that, uh, that world. I've been trying um, with not much success. Coming back to Casey, but also you know the other guys that I mentioned earlier, when I discovered those guys, I have to give massive thanks because blogs gave me the confidence to one, not worry about what other people might say or think. And when you analyze, for example, let's take Casey, specifically um, what you realize is that when he started his vlogs he was already a, he was already very successful you know he'd already done the free ad campaign for Nike the third one being that famous one where he spent his budget seeing how far he can travel around the world um, I think he'd already done some car commercials eight-part series for HBO he already had a brand so he had quite an interesting life as it is and to document that on a daily vlog he's, he's a great storyteller um, he's fantastic in being able to be very entertaining be fun be informative he has a great style so you know it's it's a no-brainer I, I personally think he deserves the success that he has it's it's a compliment when you know my friend said to me hey, you're becoming like the Casey Neistat of London um, I, I doubt I, I deserve that kind of compliment yet because uh, I'm at the very beginning when I came across and found this YouTube community of vloggers I realized that I was missing something that was so obvious it was right in front of me which was this great tool that is YouTube that is available for everyone I'm making and doing everything on my iPhone 6s plus that alone is a enough of a challenge do these and get these out I love that sort of challenge I get such a buzz when I come across these hurdles and I go over them you know when people comment and say you know wow you're videos look so professional like we thought it was done on a much more expensive setup it's fantastic to hear not because I'm you know egotistical or I'm vain those are the kind of things that give you the motivation to keep going and get better and learn for someone like Casey I mean, he clearly works very very hard he's very consistent and he's always pushing himself you know to do the next thing which is exactly why it seems he's quitting the daily vlog because it's got to a place where it's easy for him now. Whatever he makes is probably automatically guaranteed sort of one to two million views a day. And yet, you know, he's got bigger goals. It's the same with me. I mean, I'm doing these vlogs because it's a great way for me to showcase my talent, showcase my ideas, showcase my own personality, um, which is why uh, what you see is exactly what I'm like in real life. I'm not kind of putting on a front, I'm not putting on a character. This is who I really am. All the stuff that I talk about, all the ideas and thoughts, um, the principles that I have, the values that I have, is really me. I'm not trying to kind of win people over. If you like me, you like me. If you don't, you don't. Simple as that. I'm still learning and developing, trying to develop myself every single day. This vlog is all about my journey. It is probably enough for tonight. I just want to say, Casey, and also to all the other guys that I, you know, I subscribe to and watch now. Thank you for inspiring me and giving me the confidence to actually take the step and start these vlogs. Um, anyway, peace out. I can't believe I just said peace out.